So in smarts, we, we actually have two very interesting field types. We obviously have over 40 different custom field types, uh, which validate your data and can do very interesting stuff. But two that I want to focus on today is checklists and sub items. So as you can tell, and if you haven't yet seen it, go check out the video on how SmartSuite is also a no-code database and as well as a project slash task management system. But one of the unique features that we have is a checklist field type where you can add checklist items to a record and give it a due date and assign it to a particular person. And then it shows up in the My Work section up top over here. Let's just save the changes shows up for the user up top over here in the my work section and then you can see the progress of how many checklist items have been completed automatically right so as you check it off now it's 100 percent complete three out of three if i uncheck a few of them now it's 33 percent complete one out of three so on and so forth so you can set up your checklist and we obviously give you settings uh so you can uh control the colors you can allow or deny users from adding uh, new entries. You can actually have default entries. So like if you want to start every record in this list with a specific set of uh, checklists, you can just add those checklists ahead of time. And every time you create a new record, those checklists are added automatically until you check them off. Uh, we also actually have the ability to add checklists from automation. So like you can set up template checklists that get added to a specific record when it reaches a certain point or when it gets created or whatnot. So that's checklists. The other interesting feature is sub items right here. So sub items are what they sound like. They're basically a record within a record. And in the count over here, you'll be able to see how many records are within that record. Right now there's zero, but I can come here and add, you know, a bunch more records. The interesting thing about sub items in smart suite is that sub items actually have their own set of custom fields and their own you know unique statuses so the sub item doesn't have to carry the same field types or the same status stages as the parent record so for example over here i have a parent record that has uh you know the title is task and then it has assigned to status internal reviewer due date task type project associated time, deliverables, checklists, and so on and so forth. When I come into sub items, as you can see over here, there's a completely different set of some fields within the sub item, right? And I can change the settings for any of these. I can add, so let's say I wanted to add uh, a status. I can come in here and add a status. Now I can control actually and say, well, I wanna call the status something else, or I wanna add another status right here. And I wanna mark this one as complete. And so you just, you know, I want to have different default statuses. Uh, you just, you're able to set different status stages and different custom fields entirely for the sub item versus the parent item. So those are two very interesting features. Uh, curious to hear what your thoughts are and let us know in the comments below what other features you'd like us to cover.